I like my food local. Wanna know where my cows have been? I like my food local. Hi, my name is Hans Peter Meyer, and today I'm at the Comox Valley Farmers Market talking to Susie McLeod. Susie is one of the owners of Simply Divine Herbal Products, Unpasteurized Honey, Blueberries. Where did this come from, Susie? Um, well, we started out in East Vancouver. Um, both my partner and I, Jeremy, were working for the Environmental Youth Alliance. So we started to learn about um, pollinators and where our honey comes from and local food security. And that's when we got excited about honey. Um, so how long have you been here in the valley? Uh, about 14 years. Right. And you've been doing honey the whole time? Yes, we have. Yeah, as soon as we bought our property, which was about six months after we moved here, um, we started to set up hives and start our honey production. But your hives are all over the valley right now, is that right? Um, we have our hives on two or three different farms in the Comox Valley, and then every July we bring our hives up to the mountain to collect the fireweed honey. Okay, so what's the, what's the best seller here? Probably the fireweed honey. That's considered the champagne of honey. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? It just has a really distinct flavor. Um, just that particular flower is bloom. That's all that's blooming up there when we bring our hives up to the mountain, and it just has just a fantastic flavor. Okay, but you're not just about honey. So tell me about what else as Simply Divine is about. Um, before I started to get really into the honey side of things, I was I became a uh, trained herbal practitioner. So um, I started to make herbal body care products um, sourced from the organic herbs that I would grow on my property. Um, so I had a whole line of organic uh, herbal body care products. Um, I had small children at the time so I was interested in healthy products for them. So I made um, different things like healing salves and happy baby bum bomb and amazing healing bomb which are both still really big sellers. And um, then I went into more um, things for um, mom so I had like body polish and well this is one of my favorites here the nipples of Venus bath truffles I'm, am I supposed to eat this or what am I supposed to do with this you could eat it but it's not very yummy um, it's their little bath truffles so nipples of Venus is actually the name of a chocolate that you can buy in France right. um, but I've made little bath truffles out of them so you just throw one in the bath and it's a nice beautiful moisturizing bath with lots of orange and sort of a chocolatey orange feel and you just feel fantastic when you're in there mm. now you guys both you and Jeremy both work full-time you come here put in Saturday morning shift uh, so the market obviously is really important but is there anything besides the sales aspect of what happens at the market that that you like I just really like connecting with um, the people in my community. Um, I recognize lots of families from um, when they had small babies and children and they would buy my um, Happy Baby Bum Bum and Healing Bum and now I get to watch their, their children grow and um, just the excitement around um, getting local honey. More and more people are interested in sourcing local honey and more and more people are educated around um, pollinators and how that's really important for food security and it's just a really nice way to visit with people and sell our product at the same time. Yeah, well tell me about this. Why why, why are honeybees so important to local food? Um, well, without our pollinators we wouldn't be able to grow most of the things that we enjoy eating in this community and all over the world. So if we if people buy local honey then you're supporting um, your local pollinators which are the bees that are making food security possible in right. our valley. So we're not only putting money in your pocket, we're actually putting money in pockets of everybody who's growing local food here when we buy local honey. Yeah, absolutely. It's a partnership. So because we have our beehives all over the valley, we're ensuring that um, local farms and gardens are producing healthy food for all. Right. Yeah. Now the other thing that, that you, you were telling me earlier that's unique about your product is you're a hundred percent local. There are other people who are selling honey, but yours is like, it all comes from the Comox Valley. Yeah, it's hyper local. So we don't add any honey from other places to ours to sort of make it a cheaper product. We only use what we can produce ourselves in the valley. So we um, have our hives around the valley and we also bring them up to the mountain for the fireweeds. So, yeah. Right. 
Uh, are you at the market 12 months a year? Yes, we are at the indoor market all winter and then we come out in the springtime. Okay. Well, thank you very much for making the time to talk to me. Thank you. Okay, can you just hold up a jar of your honey here? I mean, look look at the color of this stuff. This is the wildflower honey. Let's look at the, you got some, um, with fireweed. So it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more golden. A little bit light? So yeah, it's a little bit lighter. It's more of a golden and the wildflower is usually a little bit darker. Right. Okay. And, um... The labels are made by a mutual friend of ours, Nick Samanis. So there's a shout out to you, Nick. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for the time, Susie. Thank you. And uh, thank you for watching. Buying local honey is one of the ways that you support local farmers and local food in the Comox Valley. I like my food local. Wanna know where my cows have been. I like my food local. Wanna know my fish swam up a stream. I like my food local. I know that my hands can roam I like my food to come from my home I got enough hormones in me I don't need any more I want to know the folks who run my local store Don't want no E. coli I just want what's right and fair I want to know what's on my plate Was treated with good care I like my food local Wanna know where my cows have been I like my food local Wanna know my fish swam up a stream I like my food local Wanna know that my hens can roam I like my food to come from my home